Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel Rantic Solutions and today I'm gonna show you how to get all the members of multiple security groups using PowerShell. Let's start. So uh, I'm using a Hyper-V for building uh, new virtual machines and I'm going to open my DC. And I have created two uh, security groups, group one and group two. And uh, group one uh, has five members. Uh, the naming convention looks like a uh, user double one double one and through double one one five. And for group two members, same five uh, five members, but it starts from sixteen to twenty. And the security group which we are going to use is get hyphen ad group member so we are going to uh, you know process through this uh, step by step so the command is gonna be get hyphen ad group member and let's try with only one group so I'm going to check with group one and by default uh, get hyphen ad group member will uh, provide the output with uh, many information which which we wouldn't need so for us i think uh, name and sam account name will be enough so pipe the output to select and name hyphen sam account name hit enter and voila okay so this is how you can get for one group but uh, we are going to find out how we can uh, get the output for multiple groups so all you have to do is uh, open up a notepad and uh, enter all your security groups group 1 group 2 and save it so I usually select temp folder for saving any files you know whenever I'm working with uh, PowerShell it's, it's easy to uh, enter the path name so I'm going to name it groups.txt okay so that's done so the first step which we are going to do is create a variable called groups and cat so cat is alias for get content so we are going to get the content from groups.txt and we are going to use for each command and whenever we are going to use for each this is the format like for each open and close bracket and then open curly braces close curly braces and for each group in groups I'm going to need get hyphen ad group member and at this point instead of typing the group name you just have to mention group not groups you will get an error so keep just group so it will direct one by one for all the contents in the text file so now I'm going to run it you can click on this play button or you can hit F5 oops and select name Sam account name okay so now we got the output but it doesn't look good because you know all the you know uh, the output for both the security groups came all together and we will not know which security uh, group has which members or vice versa so how you can tackle this situation is this is another command like output you can mention below or the members of and hit 
again and now uh, you got below the members of group 1 and below the members of group 2 but still it doesn't look good because it's just like without spaces it doesn't look great so you can add one more thing here you know at the end of the line but before this code double quotes uh, mention uh, this symbol uh, <laughs> I'm not sure about I mean how they call this uh, so it's just below the escape key and then press N so this will uh, create a new line so try again now it's somewhat okay starting and the members below that that that's okay but there is no spaces between uh, the first set of members and the second so you can mention right output double quotes just put equal sign then hmm, now it looks good and this is how you can uh, get the uh, members of multiple security groups uh, in case uh, if you would like to export them uh, to a csv file all you have to do is just keep everything as same but just create another variable output equals so now all this output will be saved onto this output variable and output pipe the output to out hyphen file and in these cases do not use export hyphen csv uh, you may think it might work but it will not i have seen it don't trust it and put see, temp and this time members.csv and play it that's done uh, go to temp folder so I do not have uh, office in my uh, lab setup so I will need to paste it here open it oh I'm sorry So this is how it looked like, I mean it looks like, uh, you know all in the same one single column and if you like to, uh, you know, make it in uh, two columns like name on one side and Sam account name on other side, you can still do it and what you have to do is go to data and text to columns, oh I'm sorry. So you can delete this unwanted thing and then text to columns fixed with next next finish and do it all again press go back fixed with finish so this is how you can do it but this uh, this kind of you know uh, separating the single column data into uh, multiple columns uh, this way is simple only for a uh, few security groups like if you have like three or four or five uh, you know not so big amount of security groups but this is just the way uh, how you can do it and uh, if there is any other way uh, how you can you know do it better please let me know in the comment section below that's all guys uh, thank you so much for watching and hope you enjoy this video and do not forget to click on the subscribe button have a great day bye bye